Over the last couple of years, we have seen many cool Blender add-ons that allow you to add damage, destroy and blow things up. And this is what we're gonna talk about in this video. We're gonna take a look at some of the best Blender add-ons that allow you to add damage, destruction and wear and tear to your objects and your scenes. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Right off the bat, we're gonna start with one of the most famous Blender add-ons called LCD which stands for one-click damage. As you might have guessed, it lets you add damage to your objects with just one click. But not only that. The add-on also includes some settings and parameters that let you control this add-on to get the desired look that you want. You can control the scale and you can choose between different noise types which are clouds, musgrave and marble. I think this is gonna be great if you wanna add damage to your 3D models like environment props, buildings, or you can be creative and do something else with it. The add-on, generally speaking, allows you to apply damage to a bunch of objects at once, which makes the workflow very fast and easy. And it allows you to bring back the original object if you don't like the result after applying it. Recently, LCD got an update, and along with that came some new features that allow you to have more control over the final result. For example, you are now able to transfer damage effects between objects, which is cool especially if you do have to do that more than once. And you can adjust a damage resolution with numbers. Also, you now have two additional noise types, which are wood and Voronoi. And thanks to the quick fix feature, you can automatically correct flawed geometry on your selected objects. There was actually a free version of OCD, but now if you want to try OCD, there is a light version that costs around one or two bucks, but it comes with limited features, nonetheless. It lets you see what this add-on can do without the initial commitment. And if you like it, you can get the full add-on, which has all the features that we talked about. Now, if you want to go crazy and destroy some stuff and blow some things up, RBD Lab is probably for you. It takes advantage of Blender's physics system, so creating an explosion and adding smoke and debris or constraints to your simulations is now much more easier. Although most of the things that the add-on does are available by default in Blender, RBD Lab makes the process extremely easier to set up, follow, and edit, which can save you a lot of time and headaches. And the good thing is, most of the changes you can apply in the simulation are not permanent, because you can edit them and control the debris, smoke, constraints, etc., even after adding them to your scene. RBD Lab has recently got its 1.4 update, and this time with a brand new user interface and a new system for detecting broken pieces and their motions in addition to calculating their speed, along with the ability to disable collisions in constraints in the constraints panel. Also, you can now apply modifiers with high details which improves the performance, in addition to several improvements to the already existing features including adding extra details to the fractures and fixing chunks. This add-on is becoming very popular right now, and it reminds me of one of the best add-ons in the industry, which is called Rayfire, which is used by Mac users in the industry, and it is really cool. And I see that RBD Lab is making a lot of progress, and it is getting better constantly, which is a great thing. Next, we have Wear and Tear, which is a Blender add-on that will help you to add more life to your models, making them more old and damaged. This seems counterintuitive, but let me explain. There is a saying in digital art that goes something like this. Imperfection is digital perfection, meaning making something look weathered, damaged, or old will make it more realistic and alive. Wear and tear, as the name suggests, erodes your models by adding wear and tear to create that used, worn-out look. The add-on can create a stylized as well as realistic-looking damaged objects. It can also erode your models individually or all the selected at once, which is really powerful. You can also easily restore your models to its original state, or only just a portion of it, and you can do it as many times as you want. So the workflow is non-destructive. Another great feature is the ability to add mortar between stones and bricks. And yes, some of these features are premium only, but still, being able to add mortar between your bricks in real time is just a different level of control. This can be applied to one or multiple objects or even multiple loose parts on the same object. 
You can also cover any surface and extrude it using the controls provided through the Annals panel. And what I particularly like about this workflow is that it is really simple and straightforward. And you can stack the effects on top of each other. Moving on, Cracker is a handy tool for making cracks on any objects that you want. This add-on also comes with a tool called Stomper, which helps to create a sort of impact point between the selected chunks. The way this add-on works is by selecting an object and using the assigned hotkeys, and a list of all the shortcuts should appear, and then you can use hotkeys to tweak the look of the cracks on your mesh, for example Q for taper, S for scale, R for rotation, and so on. To adjust the different values, you just need to move your mouse left and right, and you can change the crack's position, width, and displacement, in addition to bend angle and direction. You can also add details by moving the mouse scroll wheel up and down. And to apply the changes, you can hit the left mouse button, and to cancel the operation, you can either hit escape or the right mouse button. The add-on separates the objects into different separate meshes with each crack, but if you want to continue the cracks with the same object, hold the shift button when applying the changes. And this will apply the crack, but keeps all the parts on a single object. Next we have Kaboom, which enables you to create VFX and animation shots in a simple and easy way. It works by fracturing the model you want to destroy and then you can animate the dynamics, triggering and adjusting it until you get the crumbling and explosion effects that you want. Additionally, it provides many features and tools to make your animation look more real, such as a tool that creates convincing rough cuts to any flat faces, which also comes with a few settings that you can adjust in real time. Moreover, it allows you to quickly generate debris for moving parts which will add a lot of details to your simulations and animations. And there is an extra thing that allows you to do, which is quickly making smoke by just creating a smoke domain. After that, you can easily produce big smoke by generating emitter particles. Also, everything can be customized, which is fantastic. From the same developer, we have Noisy Cutter. And this one lets you cut and slice geometry from hand-drawn splines with the cut being bumpy and noisy but not flat, just like the other add-ons do it. The add-on works best if you want to add realistic cuts to objects made of wood, stone or concrete, and these cuts will help you create something more realistic and make it appear more natural. Generally speaking, it is simple and easy to use, and you don't need any previous experience with simulations. You just need to draw where the cut is gonna be, adjust some settings for mesh density to type of displacement, and then cut. Also, you can cut several meshes at once, and you can create a destruction simulation by making accurate cuts along the shape you want to destroy. Another benefit of using this add-on is that the UVs are automatically unwrapped, so you don't have to worry about using your UVs and textures when cutting an object which is helpful around a similar topic and from the same developer, we have an add-on called Fracture Iterator. It assists you with the fracture simulation process and it allows you to destroy and fracture different kinds of objects. In addition, it lets you control what part is gonna be breaking and when, which gives you a lot of freedom. As I said, it allows you to control exactly when something is gonna break and modify it along the process and you can keep things dynamic all along. In addition, you have the ability to bake everything to keyframes, which is gonna be helpful if you are doing some animations. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.